Happy New Year's everyone, I'm Brad Exum with Fast Fuel Systems. Last time that we were out here and doing a cold weather test, we were in Thompson, Manitoba, Canada. We started on straight number two fuel at minus 16 degrees and we ran down to about minus 30 degrees. We showed around a 47 degree temperature in the fuel tank, uh, the fuel coming up and going through and we were holding about 60 degree warmer than the outside air ambient temperature. Now, now this is all being said assuming that you're properly maintaining the filters and the fast system and making sure that you don't have water building the nice dam in here. So you have to properly uh, drain it and all that, get the water out, but no one will beat us in cold weather operations. That's a claim that FAST is making that I'm making to you today. And we showed it up in Thompson and right now it's about six degrees outside, minus six degrees I should say. And right here you can see this minus six degrees. I've been running for about an hour right now, so we haven't gotten the fuel all hot and heated and going through the mass flow return because we sit there and we polish the fuel, taking the air out of it, while we're sitting there taking more water, more dirt out with every pass. But when you have our heaters on, which I have an electric heater here, and I have electric heater here, and I have the coolant heat going through it. I believe I can run to 60 below, but look at this thermal imager. Look at the heat radiating through this block right now. It's showing 61 degrees, it's minus six, and I don't even have the engine running and supplying a current heat going into it. That's the coolant line going into it right here. That's recalibrating. You can see that going down into here. Go back to the back. You can see how that heat just radiates through that block, so with the mass flow return, we're sitting there polishing fuel and heating it. I believe that when you properly maintain these filters and have the heat going to it that we have right here, I don't believe you'd be gelling up even at minus 60 degrees. But look at that. So if you want to see our other video, go to the fast cold weather video and you can see us doing the test up in Thompson, Manitoba, Canada. And this is what we do. We take the fast, we beat it up, we put it in our Connex box, let it run through all year round, see how long these pumps will last, what they'll do. No one will beat us in quality, no one will beat us in value, no one will beat us in the cold weather operations, and no one will beat us in building the best air separation chambers out there. I thank you for your time.